Language lesson six, pronoun antecedent agreement in number. What does that mean? First of all, let's take a look at what a pronoun is and what an antecedent is, and that way we can, if we have those terms settled, then we at least know what the rest is supposed to be about. So the pronoun is, let's say, I, you, we, he, she, it, they, him, his, hers, theirs, mine, my, you, yours, those kind of words are pronouns. Now an antecedent is a noun that the pronoun replaces. This pronoun replaces Mr. David. It would be improper to say Mr. David changed Mr. David's mind. That sounds strange. Or Adam changed Adam's mind. Obviously we change our own mind. Nobody else somehow tweaks this little screw, invisible screw in our mind, and therefore we change our mind. So why not just have a pronoun there? So that is what an antecedent is. Now, in this lesson, we're talking about the number, the way they coordinate. So Mr. David is singular, therefore, his must be singular. And let's say we had the friends made up their minds. Because friends is plural, therefore you have to have their, the pronoun, as plural as well. So that is the simple part of this, having it in the same number. Now, if we have, there's indefinite pronouns, there's some, any, none, all, most, some, any, none, all, most. If we have those, then we look at the prepositional phrase in that sentence. Let's take a look at these sentences. Some of the children ran to their or its parents after the, light, the first lightning strike. So basically, the parentheses around the prepositional phrase, and since some, the first word there, is one of the indefinite pronouns, some, any, none, all, most, we have to take a look at the word in the prepositional phrase. The last word here, children, is that plural or singular? If it is singular, then we have to have a singular pronoun. If it is plural, which children is plural, then we have to have a pl plural pronoun. So in numbers one to five, this is what we would be doing. Put parentheses around the prepositional phrase, see is this plural or singular, and then circle the right one accordingly. So let's do the second one as well. These are just examples. These are not number one and two in the book. So number two, some of the pepper lost their or its flavor. Some of these you can just figure out is what, how we normally speak but sometimes not. So, put parentheses around the prepositional phrase, some of the pepper. Now, we have pepper. Pepper is singular, even though there's a lot of grains, but it's singular still. Some lost, since it's singular, it'd be its flavor. So this is what we'd be doing on numbers one to five. Go ahead and do those. Now going on to the next part. Anytime we have the word and in between two words, let's say the example there, they have Lori and Denise painted their room last Saturday. There they have Lori and, anytime we have that and, well, usually, it will be a plural one. Now, take a look at this. Plural and singular. When, is, when do we use a singular one? When do we use a plural one? For the plural is if it's talking about two people. 
It's talking about our two people here. Jason and Jeremiah painted their room yesterday. So that's two people, therefore we need plural. Now, when do we use the singular one? My friend and brother, Danny. This is just one person. He is my friend. Also, he is also my brother. So it's one person. So my friend and brother, Danny, passed his drive test last week. It would not sound right, and it would not be right, if we had my friend and brother Danny passed there. It is just one person, therefore we have a singular pronoun. Now, there's exceptions to all of this, like the English language has it. If we have or, nor, either or, neither nor, how do we do that? If we have neither David nor Abe have handed in their speech. I wrote this sentence because it's actually true as the day I'm recording this. So hopefully you have this, have this in by the time you're watching. Anyway, so then if we have neither nor, or either or, 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 nor, then we take a look at the, at the last word of the doubles there, at this red one. Abe, not, not their speech, but his speech. Now, if we take a look at this next one here, Matt, neither Matt nor his friends had brought their phones. Friends is plural, therefore their needs to be plural. It would not be right to say neither Matt nor his friends had brought his phones. It sounds like there's only one person we're talking about. So if we have plural, we go and have a plural here as well. So go ahead and do the new part on your own. The reason why I do examples and not the actual ones is that way you actually get some practice in this new part instead of me just helping you along and randomly giving you answers. All right, go ahead and do that on your own, and if you need help, let me know.